Let's begin with a short vart on the parsha. Parsha's told us. Parsha's told us. So, uh, a phrase which is extremely famous always, certainly in times of war, is Hakol Kol Yaakov, Vahayadayim De Esav. Yaakov Avinu, this week's parsha, we have Yaakov, we have Esav, we have them running around in their mommy, pushing to come out over here, pushing to go out over there. Just parenthetically fascinating how Rivka almost wasn't able to handle it. The major says how she asks her friends, is this normal? If this is the way that it's going to be? The Lashon of the Medjur says, Do you have such a pain? Sounds almost like she's ready to throw in the whole towel. She can't handle it. The Yaak, the 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 Esau, the Yaakov, fascinating what's going on over there. But at the end of the day, we know Esau is Gavura, Esau is strength, and Yaakov is the coal of Yaakov. So for a moment, let's discuss the beautiful Medrash about the coal of Yaakov. Of course, we all know, and Rabbi Machai quotes it as well, that Yaakov, what is called Kol Yaakov, is Yaakov is Matsui, we want the Kinesiais, we want the Midrashais, then that it's, it's a balance. When there is a kol kol Yaakov, then there is no yedayim yedei Esav. But says the Medrash, lo manim Yisrael What is Klal Yisrael compared to? Klal Yisrael, many different things Klal Yisrael is compared to. Says the Medrash, why is Klal Yisrael compared to a toilaas, a worm? Interesting. To tell you, just like this worm. How does a worm damage? A little nothing. What does it do? A little nothing could destroy a whole building. How could a little worm destroy a whole building? Says the Medrash, its mouth. It could chew through a cedar tree, it could chew through the foundation of the building. It's a soft entity, the mouth, the worm, but yet it could chew through, it could destroy the kasha. Kach, so too. Ein lahem li Yisrael, ela tfila. Kal Yisrael only has tfila, the pad, the mouth. Ch'akam nimshul karazim, the goyim are like arazim, cedars. Hini asher eres balvanan. Vahimar veishaber Hashem is arze alvanan. Kshem misgabrin aleyem, choyzer betshuva v'tsoyakin umispalvin. So the Medrash gives us a new found context to what is I call Kol Yaakov Ayyadayim De Yisav. Literally, the call, the mouth, is the entity that could bite through and destroy the Arazim, destroy the cedars, destroy the Gayim. But to go one drop deeper for a moment, that the contrast of the Peh, the call, and the Esav, the Yadayim, is extreme. It's an extreme contrast. It's, if you think about it, it's the physical versus the non-physical. What's a call? Call is nothing. Air, nothing. What's your dayim? Physical. So I think, I think I heard this from Ravita and Feiner. I think I just want to quote uh, B'shem Amrai, a uh, a beautiful way to bring out how the call of Yaakov destroys the yadayim of Esav. What is the Yadayim? What is the Yadayim at the most extreme form? That's Oig. That's power. That's strength. What's Yaakov? The Toilas, the worm, the Rach, the Soft, the Peh, the mouth, the Kol, the air. How does the air, the Kol, destroy and negate the physical? So he said as follows. The Yadayim, your hands, are physical. You can touch them. They're real. Your hands could be spread apart very far. That's the most extreme physical that you could have, is you take your two hands and you go all the way to the two sides. What do your two hands represent? You have chesed and you have gevura. You have chesed on the right, and you have gevura on the left. Okay, so two ways to physically effect something, to physically do something, is either with your right, is with the chesed, is with the left, is with the gevura. What happens when you take the chesed, the right, the gevura, the left, and you put them together, what do you get? 
You get nothing. What do you mean you put together? You take the chesed on the right and you put them together, you get a kol. You get a sound. You get the air that's between them. That is the kol of Yaakov. So it's beautiful. It's always much more beautiful when the gematrias just, just fit excellently. Chesed is 72. Din, I said, I said gvura, din. Din is 64. 72 and 64 is kol, 134. When you take the chesed, when you take the din, no? 136, thank you. When you take the chesed, you take the din and you put them together, it equals the kol. So in as much as the kol is nothing, is air, it's more powerful than what? The combination of the strength of strength, the Yedayim Yedayesav, the kol of ches, the gvura of chesed, the gvura of din, the physicality all the way to the right and all the way to the left, you put it together, emerges the kol from between. That is the voice. And everyone has seen the Mishnah Bura, that how are you supposed to daven? Mr. Bura says, he quotes an Arizal, and he says, you're supposed to take your two hands and you put them together, I'll leave them. Perhaps, this part I don't know if he said, I don't have this in my notes, but perhaps one could suggest that what are you doing? You're taking the chesed, you're taking the din, you're taking the physicalities, you're putting them together into your lave, into your heart, which of course is the kavana, which is that which is fueling the peh, which is fueling the kol. And the morale really speaks it out in this way, and he says that the kol is the least physical, the yadayim are the most physical. Yadayim askani is him. Your hands are always doing things, always touching things. Your call is the exact opposite. And it's particularly when you take the call to utilize, that's when it can negate the yadayim, yadayim, and how much could it negate? It can negate like that tayla'as that has this mighty arraz and these incredibly strong, powerful cedar trees, and it could chew right through them. So we've been hearing a lot how, you know, in a war, in a battle, what's the most important is the kol, is the kol kol Yaakov, is the Rabbeinu Bachai teaching us, is the Yeshev in the Bati Midrashim and the Bati Kinesiyos. And now this gives a little bit more of a flavor, a little bit more of an understanding in the depth of how it's working. Is the chesed and the din, you're putting them together, emerging is the kol, that which is coming from nothing, from air, from just spiritual, nothing else, fueled with the lave and besiyat de shmaya, that should indeed have the power to negate though the yedayim yedayi esav.